What's up guys, David here from PhoneBuff.com. In this video, we're doing a review on the Atoma 3 kernel by Roman BB on XDA Developers. Um, I put the link to the XDA thread in the description box below. I'm running this kernel with the uh, FreeGS3 ROM by Team Sonic. Uh, I also did a review on that ROM on the channel if you guys wanna check it out. So anyway, that's the ROM I'm running with this kernel. I'm gonna be doing a few benchmarks so you guys can see the performance you're gonna get with this. Um, so far for me, uh, everything's been running pretty smoothly. I'm going to open up a set CPU so you guys can see the clock speed. I have it running at 1809 set on boot. You can push it up to 1890, but uh, according to the thread, the developer recommends 1800 saying everything runs pretty smooth. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that and run the benchmarks. So I've done benchmarks on the uh, phone before uh, when it was stock and also with the uh, free GS3 ROM and pretty much I got the same score. So I want to compare them to those scores with this new kernel. I'll go ahead and start with the Antuntu benchmark. And I'll just run the benchmark and let you guys uh, see the score. So I'll hit test and start test and I'll skip to the score. All right, so it scored a 72.59 on the Antuntu benchmark. So before I actually got a 68.49, I believe, or 48. So it's about uh, 400 points higher, which is pretty good, obviously, uh, with the different kernel. So that's the 300 megahertz. Uh, overclock. Let's go ahead and run the next benchmark. And I just let you guys know, I did do a fresh reboot before I started this video. So we'll go to, uh, we'll do a limb pack really quick and uh, see what we get here. So let's go ahead and hit run. And it got 201. Run it again. 172 this time. 179. 200. So you can see it's getting around 200 or between 170 and 200. So I'll say on average like 185, which is a definite improvement because I got, uh, I think I got about around 172 last time. So um, a definite improvement here. Let's go ahead and go to the next test, which is the uh, quadrant standard benchmark. So quadrant standard. And again, I'll just skip to the uh, results so you guys don't have to uh, look at the whole process. All right, so the quadrant benchmark test is done and go ahead and look at the score. So I got a 52.45 um, and before I got, I believe it was like a 4,900. So a 300 point improvement. Now on quadrant, uh, I ran this test, you know, a couple of times before I even did this video and it got like 5,500. Obviously it's gonna fluctuate. So um, take it for what it's worth, but it is definitely like three or 400 points higher, which is definitely something significant. We'll go ahead and go to the last benchmark, which will be a uh, Nanomark. Now this one's gonna be pretty much capped at uh, 60 frames per second. Um, as you can see, actually, I'm not even gonna run it. You can see the last benchmark I ran was at, uh, my best is 59.9, so that was uh, with this kernel, where before I got like 59.8 or 59.7, so not much of a difference because of the V-Sync, but uh, just take that into consideration. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the benchmarks. Overall, so far it's been, uh, you know, so far so good. Uh, everything runs smoothly. I haven't had any real issues with the uh, ROM running at 1800. Uh, it does get kind of warm uh, as far as the uh, battery and stuff, but pretty good. I haven't really, you know, ha used it long enough to really see a difference in battery life. Um, I am using this uh, CPU sleeper, so when the screen is off, it does save more battery life, uh, which came with the uh, free GS3 ROM. But anyways, um, so far I like it. You know, I, I feel like the browsing experience is better. I mean, obviously you're going to get that when you uh, increase the clock speed, but that's it for me in the review of the Atoma 3 kernel. Um, check out the XDA thread if you want to learn more. I know that the developer is coming out with the new or newer and newer versions as he goes along and uh, as he develops further. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching.